Men's 75 kilogram middleweight division for a contest between boxers from England and Scotland. Boxing out of the red corner, representing England, Lewis Richardson. What an ovation for Lewis Richardson as he approaches the boxing ring. He has been on fire during the course of this tournament. He has showed so many facets to his game. Three wins out of three thus far. He's been tested, he's responded magnificently. And the technical, clinical counter puncher out of the southpaw stance has shown that he can bite down and dig and respond when tested. Sam Hickey preparing for his third bout of Birmingham 2022. He has been equally impressive in his previous contest, including Ladies a third round gentlemen. stoppage in this his quarter final. Final in the men's middleweight division. Fought over three three minute rounds. Introducing to you first in the red corner, representing England. his opponent boxing out of the blue corner representing Scotland Sam Edward Blanchard of Canada with the final words of touch him up ahead of the 75 kilogram middleweight semi-final. We're at the final four stage of the 75 kilogram middleweight division. Both boxers guaranteed at least a bronze in this contest, but they want to progress through to contest Commonwealth Games gold. It's a contest between men from England and Scotland. The Southpaw wearing red is Lewis Richardson, 25 years of age. It's his fourth bout of Birmingham 2022. His opponent wearing blue, who just got through with a good right hand to the body, is Sam Hickey. His third bout of Birmingham 2022, he prevailed on a third round stoppage in his quarterfinal over Adiyinka Benson of Nigeria. Semi-final action. And that is precisely where they met on the continental stage earlier this summer when en route to European Championship silver, Lewis Richardson bested Samuel Hickey on a 4-1 split in Yerevan in Armenia. Terrific counter left hand from Lewis Richardson on the back foot. Hickey responded with a straight shot of his own after the commander stopped from referee Edward Blanchard. What a start to the contest. Yep, they know each other inside out. Obviously, GB boxers up in the same squad up in Sheffield, so they spar each other week in, week out. They've boxed each other, know each other's styles. What's important for Hickey here is he doesn't allow Richardson to get into a rhythm with that right hand. Lewis Richardson very skillful with, with his lead hand, but just gets caught there. That was a better shot from Hickey with his backhand. So, you can see what Hickey's doing here. He's trying to just... Um, Keep Richardson at bay, just take him out of his rhythm. But some nice counter punching boxing also from Richardson. So a skillful man in Richardson, but Hickey himself, decent power, decent backhand. He's got to get close and close though, Ron, to land that shot. As he just launched that attack there, fell short with it. He may have to bring Richardson over that lead hand, uh, sorry, over that lead foot, bring him forward, a few feints. So yeah, this 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 could be a real close one. Two minutes gone in the opening round. Those boxers keen for the referee to get out of the way and let them get on with it. Command of stop. Sees both boxers heed the instruction and sees punching. That's not always the case here in the cacophony of Hall 4 of the National Exhibition Centre. Both men looking to 
control the distance behind their straight punches. Richardson working away on the inside, so too Hickey. And keeping their heads out of harm's way as well. Referee has to issue the command of break. Both boxers step back. Left hand success out of the southpaw stance for Richardson. As the fainting continues just beyond punching range. Both boxers keen to avoid mistakes by the head of Lewis Richardson, jolted back, but Richardson fires straight back to head and body, backfires Hickey, and another right hand dips the knees of Lewis Richardson to bring about a standing count just before the bell. This skillful contest exploding into life as the 10 second clapper sounded. It resulted in a torrid exchange, and it's Samuel Hickey who got the better of it, dipping the knees of Lewis Richardson and bringing about a standing eight count. Let's listen in. Just got caught in a firefight right towards the end of the round, didn't he there, Louis Richardson? A little bit too um, wide with the stance and occasionally just comes square with his feet and Hickey took advantage, dragged him into a toe-to-toe -to -toe battle and Hickey then got the better of it with that backhand. There was the shot there. Similar to a previous contest where Richardson got caught as well, Ronald. Yep, that was the... Quarter final against Billy Le Poulain. On that occasion, he was able to fire back and put a count on Le Poulain during the exchange. But here, he wasn't able to do so against Sam Hickey, who brings about the standing count. 10 9 for four of the five scoring judges. Remember, in Olympic style boxing, a knockdown or a 10 8 count, or a 10 8, a knockdown or a standing 8 count will not necessarily result in a 10 8 round. Well, what an opening three minutes in this contest between familiar rivals, Lewis Richardson and Sam, Samuel Hickey of Dundee. Here on the Commonwealth Games semi-final, there's a two-shot success for Lewis Richardson, who's got his composure back together. Hickey's certainly got a lot of speed in his work, Ronald. Richardson's got to get back to um, using his jab a little bit more. I thought it was a good, the tactics were spot on for Mickey in that first round. He sort of met Richardson head on. So Richardson's got to get, he's got to get into a rhythm with his lead hand. And that will then set up the backhand also. So Richardson's got to be busier with um, that jab of his especially. A minute gone in this second round. forward for Ray doesn't result in any successful offense but it kept Richardson occupied and then the two boxers digging away shots on the inside a little bit of use of the shoulder from Samuel Hickey yeah Hickey like I said got a bit of speed on his side here just starting the attacks from a little bit too far out though so he'll have to watch that Richardson can just adjust his feet and bring him onto the shots well referee Edward Blanchard has spoken to Samuel Hickey repeatedly during this contest you'll have to watch that he doesn't pick up a warning, that's a nice right jab and a right hand from Samuel Hickey sends Lewis Richardson to the contest, to the canvas and this contest is going to be waved off because Richardson's legs have not returned and it's Samuel Hickey who scores a second round stoppage his vaunted backhand sends him steamrolling into the gold medal bout here in the 75 kilogram middleweight division and he is rightfully elated he gets the better of his GB teammates. Respect between the two of them at the end. Bitter disappointment for Lewis Richardson. But Samuel Hickey finding the range with that right hand. And on the second time, he dipped the knees of Samuel Hickey. Well, this time it caused the contest to be curtailed. What a shot. We talked about um, both boxers here trying to bring the opponent over the front foot. And that's exactly what happened there. So Richardson there made the mistake. Hickey starts the attack, but then pushes back out. Richardson falls into the trap of coming forward over the front foot, and Hickey responds with a peach of a right hand. The, probably Ladies the best one he'll have thrown in his career. He stops the contest in round number two. In favour of your winner, now progressing to the Commonwealth Games finals. In the blue corner, representing Scotland. Samuel Hickey Sam pounds his Hickey. chest in celebration because he has progressed through to the Commonwealth Games gold medal bout, getting a measure of competitive revenge over the man who bested him in the European Championship semi-final earlier this summer.
bitter disappointment for Lewis Richardson. But he concludes what has been an outstanding summer with a second podium finish. European Championship silver medalist in Yerevan, Commonwealth Games bronze medalist here in Birmingham. Four contests to earn him that Commonwealth Games bronze. Samuel Hickey will be preparing for his fourth contest tomorrow. And his confidence will be off the charts because his right hand punch picking has paid handsome dividends here at the semi-final stage. The man who got the better of him in Yerevan earlier this summer has been bested here in Birmingham. A terrific performance from Samuel Hickey. Terrific punch picking, razor sharp, and his power demonstrable. Two boxers who know each other inside out, being GB uh, squad members. And in the past, it's Richardson who just had the... Uh, goes into the contest with the advantage of a victory over his opponents, but it's Hickey here who has produced the goods. He, he did so in the opening round, a lovely right hand that caught Richardson towards the end of the round. And there, he's just produced an absolute belter, bringing Richardson